Hello everybody, it is Michael Brownstein here with the Food and Wine Life channel and I'm here with the beautiful Eva Clay. And today I am going to make Hungarian sauerkraut soup. And there's so many different variations of sauerkraut soup throughout Europe. But I'm going with the Hungarian version today because it has paprika sausage, caraway seeds, and sour cream. So let's get into it. So for this Hungarian sauerkraut soup, here are the ingredients. Obviously we got the sauerkraut. That's a 24 ounce jar that's been drained. I got eight ounces of Spanish chorizo and the package said that it had pork, the ingredients were pork, garlic, paprika, and salt. So it's pretty minimal, not really processed much. Four cloves of garlic chopped one onion medium onion chopped two to three tablespoons of spanish olive oil extra virgin you can use any kind you want pepper salt pink himalayan sea salt one teaspoon of caraway seeds that i've ground up in this like that hungarian paprika i put a tablespoon in this ramekin but we could add more as necessary three quarters of a cup of sour cream and we're going to temper that two cups of beef broth and i will add more water as necessary if needed so i'm going to go put this together and i'll be right back so i put three tablespoons of olive oil in here in the dutch oven that i preheated and i'm literally going to dump these onions in here and i'm going to saute them also, I'm actually going to put the garlic in here as well. And I'm going to saute this up. And then when they caramelize up a little bit, I'll add the um, chorizo in and start putting it together. Okay, so we got these onions and garlic sauteing a little bit. And then the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put the chorizo in here and brown that up. And I actually turned the stove down a little bit. I'm going to kind of cook this together for a minute. And then, not long, I'm actually going to take and put the... Uh, beef broth in it like that I'm actually also going to put a couple cups of water in it and I'll be right back so I added four cups of water to it and I've got it boiling right now and it's got a beautiful color to it. If you notice, it's got like a red color. And I believe that's because of the paprika and the uh, Spanish sausage. And even the sausage has got a, a nice little look to it now. It's starting to soften up really good. So, I'm actually going to put some more ingredients in here and let it cook. But um, what I'm going to do... Let's pour the sauerkraut in next and kind of let it simmer. I'm actually going to cook it about 30 minutes after I get everything in here. And I got a tablespoon of paprika, Hungarian paprika. I'm going to put that in there and that's going to even give it a more richer color. Now oh, it smells so good. And some black pepper, maybe a couple pinches of that. And I'm actually going to um, only put half these caraway seeds 
in here at first because I don't want to overpower it. I'm going to have to taste it after it simmers a little bit. It smells delicious. It smells like rye bread or something immediately. Um, like I said, this is the Hungarian version of the sauerkraut soup. Um, the beautiful Miss Eva makes a um, Polish version, and I'm going to have her make that sometime for you all. And um, different countries in Europe do different things, like uh, Germans do different things. The Polish people, um, you know, like I said, the Hungarian and Serbian, all kinds of people do different things with this. So, um, but anyway, I'm going to simmer this for a while. And I'm actually going to put um, half of this sour um, kraut juice in here as well. And just leave a little extra. And this is going to simmer for a little while. And then we'll be back. So the soups came to a nice simmer. And basically we just got to add the sour cream to it and serve it up. So it looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do is a technique that the beautiful Miss Eva taught me. It's called tempering. So I just take a little bit of the juice and just put it in there. Not much. And what it is, you want to try to get the temperatures the same. And both of them. Because you don't want to just dump this in there and have it curdle like cottage cheese or anything. So. You just put that in there. And you whisk it. I'm not quite as polished as the beetle from this ever, but. It's starting to come along pretty good. It doesn't matter if you get a few pieces of sauerkraut in here or anything, but um, One more time for the show. So it's blended and I'm just going to start trickling it in kind of slower like that. And then I'm going to stir it all together. I'm going to let it simmer about 10 minutes. And the beautiful Miss Eva is going to plate it up. And we're going to enjoy it. So, be right back. All right. We're back. And the beautiful Miss Eva plated it up. And uh, we added a dollop of sour cream. Got some crusty French bread to the side. Delicious. And we're going to give it a taste and talk about it. All right. Ladies first. Um, I can't wait to try it because I never had that version before, although I grew up on, on sauerkraut soup. All right. So let's, let's it. try it. It has interesting color. It's very pinkish, creamy color. Mm. Very good. <clears throat> The sausage is real good in it. Yes, it's very good. It's very different to what I grew up with, but it's delicious. I, I like the paprika. I like the garlic in it. I like the caraway seed that gives a little depthness and warmness to the uh, whole dish. Yes, the chorizo sausage is completely different than what I'm used to, but it's delicious, I have to say, definitely. Did a great job, honey. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I want to get Eva eventually to make a version of the Polish version of the sauerkraut soup, and we'll make a video with it. But um, you want to try the bread in it? Oh, yeah. I was going to do that off the camera, but yes, I couldn't wait to do that. All right. <laughs> he knows me way too well. Mm-hmm. So Great. 
-hmm. So anyway, that's going to wrap this video up. And I hope you all enjoy the soup. And until next time, we'll catch you all later. Na zdrowie i smacznego. Have a great one.